Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mora Lizzy. You can as well call me Jenna Wine. Do you have anybody born between June 22 to July 21? The Cancers, as the name implies, the crab. I'm going to talk about them, how they behave. But here, I'm going to share about 60% of their core personality. Other ones, like 40%, you can get from their rising, their moon sign. And this one, you know, you can determine. I've said it before that you can determine it only by giving out the person's time of birth and location of birth. That's before you can get the person's complete astrological fingerprint. So, this is another sign of the zodiac that is highly misunderstood. So, like their sister, their water sign sister, the Scorpio. This sign is misunderstood too, but not as much as the Scorpio. So the Cancers are very sensitive, extremely emotional. You find them crying in every little thing. People, born, there are people born between June, June 22 to July 21. I, uh, they are very moody in most cases. They are ruled by moon. That's why their emotions are always like that. So just like the way the moon changes its phases, that is the way the cancer personality's mood changes. So that is why they come off always moody and having increased mood swings. So cancers value trust a lot. They are intuitive, psychic, and very emotional. They are passively aggressive. That is why most times they use their spouse or anybody around them as emotional punching back. That is the cancer for you. They are the most faithful lovers of the zodiac. They are very faithful. They are very homely. They are they, anything about their home. Just like the spirit animal that represents them, the crab. You know the crab has a shell. So to them, their home is a sanctuary. To them, their home is like a shell. So once they find any anywhere or outside their home or workplace or any very unconducive, they run home to come and rest in their shell. That is the cancer personality for you. They value. That's why if you have a, if you have a cancer husband or a cancer mother, anything, they value their home. They always come back home and they love a neat home and a neat environment. You don't play with a cancer's home, or when he comes home, you will scatter his bed and all that. You will fall out with a cancer personality because that home is his life. That home is his sanctuary. When it comes to uh, being reserved, they are very reserved organized and intelligent set of people very loyal a cancer is a loyal lover they will put in all their best to make their relationship work although sometimes they will come out come out as come out as being passively aggressive they are cardinal signs though they so they have this law initiative or love to initiate things the the cancer is a mover what, and they are always time conscious. When you put anything in the hand of a cancer, they will move it forward. They will initiate it. They will drag it. They will begin it because they are cardinal signs. As a child, they are very promising. When you have a cancer child, you will simply fall in love with that child because they are very sweet, very promising, and very organized. You, it's not that type of child that you see tearing his or her book. Everything, they are clothes, neatly kept on it but for a cancer you must learn how to say proper words you, you don't speak harshly to a cancer because they are so sensitive that they hold grudges they hold words in, in, as in when you talk like for example if you have a cancer husband you know when husband and wife are exchanging verbal tantrums or change is changing words if it is cancer tells you that you are mad and you turn around and tell that cancer again that you too you are mad you have committed an offense he can pick his car key and leave the house for you. You will not communicate. You will not eat your food and all that. So be mindful of harsh words when it comes to a cancer. They don't love harsh words. So please, if you have a cancer mother, a cancer sister, a cancer brother, a cancer spouse, a cancer husband, please pamper them. Their emotions are so soft. Pamper them. Give them homely made food. Cook good food, arrange the home, let it be, let their home or their sanctuary, like I call it, be very neatly placed. Be harsh, be don't be harsh with words. Even if they tell you harsh words, just forget about it. Maybe later you, you try and correct him or her and tell him that what you have said to me, I don't like it. But 
if it's to give back what they have given you because they are pass, uh, pass, uh, 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 aggressive they are they are aggressive sometimes because of the way the, their emotion and their mood swings so don't go and give him back what he has given you or give her back what they are giving you because they will find it extremely irritating so please if you have your rising in this sign called cancer or you are a cusper between gemini and cancer or born three uh, six days between after cancer and leo Please, you will have this. Some of these personalities, you notice that your mood changes. Your mood changes sometimes. You, you have some of these personalities. You will have the dual personality of Gemini and Cancer, then Cancer and Leo. So, uh, uh, the, 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 as for the Cancer signs, please be mindful of their sensitivity. They love attention. They are clingy. So they love attention so much. So please, if you are you are a mother to a cancer, a cancer native, please give them so much attention. Pamper them. Be soft. Give them good food, homely made food. Those are the things that they cherish a lot. So if your rising is in cancer and or your moon sign is in cancer, you will find out that you you have all these personalities in a more amplified and exaggerated manner. So for the cancer personality. You can trust them. They are loyal. They are everything you can you want in a husband or in a partner. So, like I always say, do not blame the individual. Blame it on their zodiac sign. Please give my video a thumbs up, like, and subscribe. Please subscribe so that anytime I drop my videos, you will be able to get notifications. Thank you for being with me.